Arlington police are searching for a couple of car burglars connected to a deadly shooting this morning. Police say one of the thieves shot and killed the father of six while he was parked in front of his home. The 36-year-old victim had just arrived home from work when the shooting happened. <laughs> parked in front of his home. Some car thieves shoot him and just kill him. They were breaking into cars. Killed this guy. This guy's fucking dead. Goddamn horn son man, man. Dead. Unbelievable, man. What a fucking tragedy. In front of his home, the 36-year-old victim had just arrived home from work when the shooting happened. They say one of the two car burglars was standing in his driveway when he pulled in, and that person was the killer. Fox 4's Peyton Yeager spoke to friends of the victim and joins us live from Arlington tonight. Peyton. Arlington Steve, is Arlington police are still Ooh. working to identify the two men who are involved in the shooting. Police tell us the victim pulled into his driveway. Uh, he was working overnight and then police say he was shot before he could even get out of his vehicle. Arlington police say a 36-year-old man was murdered outside his own home near South Collins Street and Kaplan Drive early Tuesday morning. Friends identified the victim as Ali Ishmal, a husband and father of six, who had a seventh child on the way. He's a guy who was raising his kids, you know, he was a family man, you know, family-oriented guy. Friend Mustafa Yassin says he just talked to Ishmal Monday evening. The two were planning on seeing each other Tuesday. Instead, Yassin received an early morning call to come help Ishmal's wife. This is sad, man. The man is a hardworking guy. You know, he had six kids. I don't know what to tell. I don't know what to tell. Six kids, man. Now that woman's got to fucking take care of these fucking six kids. This is not right. Just after 5 a.m. Tuesday, officers responded to the home and found Ishmal dead inside his Chevy SUV. Video from the scene shows the passenger side window shot out with glass on the ground. Several evidence markers were also seen near the curb. The victim uh, was minding his own business and arrived home. <laughs> I mean, can, anywhere can should we go anywhere without seeing this? And listen, like a I'm decent neighborhood too. I'm not a hater, man. Sisters, I'm not a hater. It's just like it's getting ridiculous, man. Hit one if you hit one if you're not a hater, but you just like I mean, come on, like. There's, there's no reason for every city to have a sister in charge of the police department. Hit one, if you're, you're not a hater, you wish sisters the best, you want them to thrive, especially because you don't want their kids out here carjacking and killing everybody. So you want them to thrive, you want the best for them. But come on, man. Like, every police department does need to be run by a sister. Like, <laughs> like like, I mean, come on, man. Like, come on, man. Like, come on. We should be able to go to a place and it's not a sister job. Come well, on. First, first, they came for the glider chiefs. Glider <laughs> chiefs. Then they came for the Sunman Chiefs. So now it's a sister chief by default because they don't want him to come for the Chiefs and oust them just because of racism. Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> come on, man. Hey, like, come on. Let's, let's just come on. With glass on the ground, several evidence markers were also seen near the curb. The victim uh, was minding his own business and arrived home, and someone started firing rounds at him as he entered into his driveway, and now he's deceased. 
Investigators say Ishmal was pulling into his driveway after working overnight when he was met with immediate gunfire. Police pieced together what happened after talking to neighbors and reviewing surveillance video that two men were in the area pulling on door handles trying to break into cars prior to the shooting. Arlington police say one of those men was standing on Ishmal's driveway and just started firing without saying a word. Wow. I mean, golly, man, that's how this guy went out. That's his story. He pulls into his driveway. There's no argument. There's no, hey, man, what you doing in my driveway? Just instantly starts shooting him. And those guys aren't there to kill him. They're just there pulling on, tugging on door handles. It's terrifying. That's fucking terrifying, man. Well, actually, Both it looks like the then... police chief might be a son man instead of a son woman. Okay. She's just a spokesperson. Okay, great, great, great. Took off. To actually see the son and the mother go to the car and see that, that's, that's, that hurts. Elliot. Wow, the son, they heard the gun. Ugh, so this guy lives in the neighborhood. Ugh. Saying a word. Both men then took off to actually see the son and the mother go to the car and see that, that's, that's, that hurts. Elliot Perkins, a father himself, was up early for work and heard the gunshots. Not long after, Perkins says he heard Ishmael's wife and children in the front yard screaming. His ring camera caught him running outside to help. A 911 dispatch was asking us to take him out of the vehicle and lay him down. So I asked her to go back inside the house and get a towel because it started raining at that point. And by that time, the police come around the corner. Minutes later, first responders arrived. Arlington police say there has been a recent uptick in vehicle burglaries. On Friday, Arlington PD released photos of two men. Hombritos. I'll tell you what, that, that uh, neighbor, that's a good son man there. Yeah, definitely. That oh my God. These, these fucking hombritos. Mm. So it's probably hombritos that did that guy. Wanted for a string of vehicle burglaries in December. On December 22nd, a homeowner was shot after confronting the men in his driveway. Fox 4 spoke to him on Friday. I just wanted to run them off. Never thought they'd shoot me. Shot me with no problem. Police are not connecting the two. It's those same guys. I, I bet you. What you think, John? Yep. And that one's a glider. Why'd they kill the sun men? Leave the glider alive. <laughs> Racism, man. Vehicle burglaries in December. On December 22nd, a homeowner was shot after confronting the men in his driveway. Fox 4 spoke to him on Friday. I just wanted to run them off. Never thought they'd shoot me. Shot me with no problem. Police are not connecting the two shootings right now, but the crimes are similar and just a few miles apart. If anybody knows anything, please let us know. We're willing uh, to put a reward out there. All day today, Arlington police officers were talking to neighbors and canvassing the neighborhood for surveillance video. They haven't released any images of the suspect or any type of suspect descriptions. I did speak with one neighbor off camera. He tells me that his camera system did catch something, a person running with a hood over their head after the shooting. But again, Arlington police have not released any type of suspect description. Wow. So sad, man. That fucking poor guy, man. Um, that fucking poor guy. Has, I mean, just pulls into his fucking driveway and boom, somebody starts shooting him. Never had a fucking chance, man. That's fucking. Oh, they have they have video of the suspects. Okay. Within the last half hour, Arlington police released surveillance video in the murder of a father of six killed outside of his home by people who were trying to break into cars. I want you to take a close look at the video from a neighbor's home. Police say it shows the two men walking through the neighborhood just moments before that Monday night attack. Separately, police also released a clip of a man trying door handles in the area. Police cannot confirm whether he is one of the two involved in the shooting, those, but they do want to These guys are little, man. These are on Britos, man. This guy might be a little on the tall side, but that's some 
these guys are on free throw. What do you think, John? Yeah, I think so. And uh, shout out to Monday the news attack. anchor actually having her Texas accent instead of that dang news voice. Separately, police also released a clip of a man trying door handles in the area. Police cannot confirm whether he is one of the two involved in the shooting, but they do want to talk to him. Fox Forest Dion Anglin joins us now live from Arlington. Dion. Hi there, Heather. Well, it is the result of around the clock investigating and police are hoping this new video gets them another step closer to identifying the shooter who killed a 36 year old husband and father of six. An Arlington neighborhood remains on edge as police look for more surveillance video to help them track down a killer. Investigators call what happened early Tuesday morning in the 1400 block of Prentice Street in Arlington a senseless killing. A suspected car thief fatally shot 36-year-old Ali Ismail, a husband and father of six who had just pulled into his own driveway, returning from work. On Wednesday, police declined an interview, noting they are hard at work to identify the gunman. A department spokeswoman, however, did talk to reporters on the scene while detectives collected evidence. Uh, they've actually gone door to door to canvas any, anybody in the neighborhood that has any type of surveillance footage. The disturbing details. Ishmael was arriving at home just after 5 a.m. Police say two suspected car thieves, according to witnesses, were seen on surveillance video in the neighborhood prior to the shooting, pulling on car door handles. Investigators say one of those men was standing in Ishmael's driveway when he pulled in and then opened fire on the vehicle without uttering a word. Ishmael was struck and killed. Neighbors say Ishmael's wife currently expecting their seventh child could be heard screaming after making the gruesome discovery. Police say yeah. at least one ring camera from a home picked up a man wearing a hoodie running in the area after the shoot. Unfucking believable, man. That's just fucking, that's just fucking goddamn terrible, man. That's terrible. All right, well, who do we have here? Bad blood between two men led to a wild shootout in Deep Ellum Sunday night. The two shooters were not hit by the gunfire, but an innocent man performing inside a club was shot. Police say he was trying to shield... Sons. Sons. This is sons. Bad blood between two men led to a wild shootout in Deep Ellum Sunday night. The two shooters were not hit by the gunfire but an innocent man performing inside a club was shot. Police say he was trying to shield others from those bullets. Fox 4 Sean Rabb has a surveillance video in this week's Trackdown. I'm with Detective Daryl Barclay. We're in front of the Freeman Cajun Cafe and Lounge here in Deep Ellum. What happened here Super Bowl Sunday night, Detective? One of our suspects, which was a black male, heavy set guy wore a baseball style cap light colored button down shirt and some jeans at some point has some These words on the street with the center second man detectives looking for so just look how quickly they said i want you guys to understand how quickly your life can change just from proximity just this is how proximity when i talk about proximity and like as like a sun man i'm just proximal because you know i'm just i'm a sun man so like this is this is my community, it's my environment. These people are just always around, I'm comfortable. But if you're not a son, this is what I talk about about proximity, man. What happened here Super Bowl Sunday night, Detective? One of our suspects, which was a black male, heavy set guy wore a baseball style cap light colored button down shirt and some jeans at some point has some words on the street with the second man detectives looking for a uh, latin male wearing a purple shirt some blue jean shorts he has a tattoo on this on the left side of his temple like and tattoo down the left side of his leg he walks in he walks so he had some words with this guy see it detective barclay Son believes glider. he's looking for the black guy and when they see each other and at that time they, they raised their weapon and started firing. Out here on Commerce Street. Yes, in, on, in front of the building on the sidewalk. At one point, they started running towards each other while they were still Look shooting. Look at how he's shooting. Look at they him. Passing each Look other. at this part when he... 
That's a, look at the bullet holes that's going through the club. Wow. My suspect one, which is the black male, started veering out towards the, the streets when he turned and began to, and fires. His bullets missed the man shooting at him, and his bullet goes through the window, striking an innocent man. And it appeared that he was trying to save someone or cover a young lady up or something at the time. That man, who had no part of the beef, Cameron Cooper, known in music circles as Chief Rebel. It's hard watching my brother uh, suffer through all the complications and the confusion. We really don't know what he understands right now. Chief Rebel's family have been by his side at Baylor since Sunday. So people need to be held accountable for the damages that they do, and they need to understand the repercussions of making that decision to fire a weapon in public. I need someone to tell me who these guys are. You can reach me by 214-671-4736 or by my email, Barclay at dallaspolice.gov. Help find the men who had this shootout and an innocent man was hit here in Deep Ellum. Wow.